So, thank you so much everyone for tuning in to this Monday morning edition of The Daily Dose. I am Shelby Ledoux. We're talking about an awesome fundraising event coming up this Friday night for our favorite local amusement parks. We have some friends here from Bay Beach and also a person from a well-known show in town. Can you uh, introduce yourself to our Daily Dose viewers this morning? I'm Sally Kiefer with Friends of Bay Beach. I'm Frank Hermits from Let Me Be Frank Productions. And Jason Arnold from Bay Beach. All right, so like I had mentioned, a fun show coming up on Friday, as well as a fundraiser for Bay Beach. Does one of you maybe want to talk about what this fundraiser is going to be going towards? Well, the fundraiser, uh, $10 for tickets sold for Frank's show, will go to the Friends of Bay Beach. And it's they've been a, uh, just a great group to work with. They've brought a lot of what you've seen uh, coming up in the park recently, like the Sea Dragon and the Falling Star and the uh, Rocket Tug and the Baby. So all, all the expansion has really been due to uh, the fundraising efforts of the Friends of Bay Beach. And uh, next year, we're uh, getting a, a giant Ferris wheel in. So we're really excited about that. It's been something we've worked towards for a long time. So I know. Uh, when we originally did that recording, I think there so many people excited about the fact of a 100 foot Ferris wheel coming to Bay Beach Amusement Park. So when is that going to be in the park? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, we're hoping to have the Ferris wheel ready to uh, ride uh, May of 2019 when the park opens. So this money from the fundraiser from your show on Friday is going to go not only toward the park in general, but some specifics to that Ferris wheel. Can you explain a little bit about that too? We just need to make sure that we have everything ready so the Ferris wheel can be put in place and the infrastructure of the park. So that's what the money will go to. Now Frank, with your show, yeah. this is something that you regularly do, right? The opening night of a show, you kind of uh, support a local uh, movement or project that you're interested in, right? Yeah, every opening show, this is going to be, this is our 18th season here oh, in wow. Green Bay, and this, thank you so much, and I believe it's our 72nd show we've produced at the Meyer Theater, but yeah, every opening night, we have a certain, uh, we'd like to, you know, benefit something, a charity and a profit, something we're organized in, and the Friends of Bay Beach, fantastic place, been bringing my kids there for, I don't, I don't know, I'm like, I'm like 70 and I have 25 kids, so I've been coming there forever, wow. I have eight children, and uh, that's, that's a lot. from 29 to 2. So we frequent Bay Beach a lot. Yeah. So I'd like to give back and uh, ten dollars of every ticket. And this is a great show about history and uh, uh, of Manitowoc. If you're familiar with Manitowoc, they built submarines in the 1940s for World War II, and we go back to the day of building uh, subs, submarine sandwiches. Right. So it's kind of a spoof on uh, the making submarines. So kind yeah. Of, very funny show. I was playing a trivia thing the other yeah. night that was like, where does the name of the sub sandwich derive from? And it was kind of like, duh, all the different answers that they gave. It was pretty obvious. So um, so what is the, the name of your show called? It's called Submarine Races Manti. Of course, submarine races, that means, you know, you you go take your girl and you park by the river and you're going to watch submarine races because there's nothing to see. It's a joke. <laughs> Manti, of course, is, is, a, is a name for Manitowoc. So we take both of those, we make fun of the names, we make fun of submarine sandwiches and the building of submarines in Manitowoc. All the music is from the 1940s, and we do it the Let Me Be Frank style, so you're going to love every song in the show, Mom and Dad, the kids. It's such a fun, fun, hilarious show. So $10 and every ticket sold yep. is going to go towards the, for the, is it Friends of Baby that it goes towards? It'll go towards Friends of Baby. Okay, awesome. And then how many tickets are available? There's a thousand seats in the mire, so if we sell a thousand seats, I can write a, write a check for $10,000. That's awesome. That's Friday okay. night, Bye. this Friday, 8 o'clock. Uh, you, can, you can get tickets at the door or ticketstaronline.com. Just show up and support your community and friends of Bay Beach. $10,000 is your goal. 10000 is our goal. Yeah. All the stuff yeah. going towards Bay Beach for that then. Yay. I need all my friends, all of Jason's friends, all of Frank's friends. You all have to buy tickets. So tickets online at the door. Yeah, or at the door. You come on. And it's so much fun. I mean, you, you, uh, if you've been to the Meyer Theater, it's a historic theater built in the 1930s. Refurbed if you haven't been out there in a while. Or if you haven't seen the Let Me Be Frank show. Uh, we have the top area of talent. Uh, they're fantastic. And it's just so funny. I wish I could give away some of the jokes, but I'm not. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. And uh, maybe viewers, drop a comment below of your favorite ride currently at Bay Beach and what you're most excited about for this upcoming season. Maybe it is the, the Ferris wheel coming in 2019, though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. I think we're going to transfer into our regular broadcast. And our cameraman, Jeff, is going to kind of come on in here. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff, for being an amazing cameraman. Oh.
Yeah, no problem. That's awesome stuff here. Frankly, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, really awesome. I see what you did there. It looks like we got some more people joining in right now, so that's really awesome. Yeah, um, so I think you're our weatherman today. And, you know, we actually, cold weather. We had that kind of a warm stretch there for a few days, and now we're having cold weather ahead of us. Yes, we were looking at high of us. Starting at 3 and a low of 9. It's going to be partly cloudy, most healthy morning. Uh, might uh, get a little bit more sun this afternoon, though, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, Paul's Roots is a story up on our website today about the Green Bay Water Utility taking 90% tax hike right, to help fund the replacement of some pipes in our area. So uh, just some fun facts that I have here on my phone about this, should it happen, uh, that would increase by $1.44 per month for the average residential utility user. Which on a quarterly bill would be about uh, 450 Okay, yeah. see, so you're, you're good at that. Well, also, <laughs> bill, utility bill, water bills for right. Green Bay uh, come uh, every quarter, so it, you know, that's easier to put that There we go. And then also another fun fact, too, that you, the utility uh, system has 440 miles of pipe in the ground, some of which are over 100 years old, Jeff. Definitely so. So they have this on a working schedule to do some replacement, about 2.5 miles a year, and so this money would go towards the replacement. Very good. Uh, hopefully uh, that uh, that uh, increase does uh, get approved and all the pipes can uh, continue. Yes, it looks like we have a comment from a viewer.